about this picture? Okay, oh, so here's what this picture is about. Not because we can build atom bombs or annihilate the world. But because of NASA. Because we have the ability to land a man on the moon, and more so, we have the ability to put the James Webb Space Telescope into space and take us back 13.5 billion years into the beginning of the universe. That's right, near the Big Bang. Alright, so, first of all, let me tell you about what is in this picture. You might notice one, two, three, four galaxies, but this is actually five. One, two, three, and this is what looks like one galaxy with two separate nuclei, but it's actually two different galaxies that look like they're bonded together. They leave this cool looking trail. There are also, uh, there's also a very nice looking night sky backdrop. Well, because it's in the night sky, right? Yeah, obviously. So, this is called Stefan's Quintuplet because... Quintet. Uh, quintet. Because there were five of these. Quint means five. And these were the first... This was the first cluster of galaxies ever discovered in 1877 by someone named... Eduardo Stefan. All right. So... Can you tell us a little more about this picture? Okay, oh, so here's what this picture is about. Basically, you have five galaxies. One, two, three, four, five. So like you said, this galaxy looks like it's one galaxy with two separate cores, but it's actually two separate galaxies. Okay, so let's talk about each of these galaxies. First of all, look at this one. Mm -hmm. Which one of these galaxies is not like the other? You tell me this. That one. See? Did you need to be an astronomer to say that? No. No. Why is this one different from all the other ones? First of all, because of its shape. And second of all, because of its color. Good. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Now, why does this one have... What color does this galaxy it's have? It's bluish, but I think this is a false color image. It's not a false color image. Oh, really? This is the true color captured by the James Webb Space Telescope. Ooh. Now, um... Uh, and what is the color of these four galaxies? Orange. Orange, reddish. Okay. Why does color matter? Color matter. Color tell, uh, uh, tells us why the bright line spectra suck. You are not an expert on this subject. He is. Well, I'm going to pretend he's not. Uh, hey, 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 hey. Yeah, yeah. Say it. Mm, bright line spectra produced by a message from electrons tell us what elements are inside these galaxies. That's right. Mm -hmm. So, not only that, but color tells you something else. You want to know something? If you look at someone's hair, you can tell how old they are, right? Based on the color of their hair. If they have white hair, that means they're probably older, right? Oh, well, that's kind of true, but maybe they just dyed their hair gray. Uh, and if they have black hair, they probably are younger, right? There are a lot of old people who still have black hair. Okay, Not play along with me here. No. So, when galaxies are blue, they are younger. Okay, they, if you look at this galaxy, it has a lot of pink regions. You see these pink regions? Oh, cool. These are places where stars form, nebulae. Um, okay? You have eight seconds left. These are star forming regions. On the other hand, these three galaxies, we're just getting started. There's four. These three galaxies, uh, these four galaxies are orange and red. Why? Because they're older. Most of these stars are red dwarfs. They're red. They're old. They're running out of fuel. That's why these three are red. Furthermore, 
even though it looks like these are five galaxies together, that is a lie. Have you ever been caught? Have you ever been fooled by someone? Shut. Get to the point. Well, you're about to get fooled by this image because one of these galaxies is not in this group. Can you tell which one? Which one? That one. Why? It's too young. Okay, no, that's not why. It's because here, here's what's happening. It's a very nice trick. You want to see the trick? Yeah. So let's say you have three fingers, right? Here's three fingers. Mm -hmm. Let's say you have another finger, right? Now mm -hmm. let's say this finger is very big, but it's farther away. It will look the same size to the camera, even though this one is farther away. It will look the same size as these three because it's bigger. You agree? Mm -hmm. That's the same thing that's happening here. This galaxy is actually not with the other four. It's much closer to us. In fact, this galaxy is 40 million light years away from us. Uh, it's NGC whatever. Uh, and these four galaxies are 290 million light years away from us. Gee. So this one is closer to us, but it's smaller. So it looks like they're... Yeah, I they're understand. It's called perspective. The, yeah. Okay, so that's, um, and if you look at the... Um, your time yeah, has run out. Yeah, almost done. Uh, we're just getting started. No, this, okay. no, you are not just no, getting okay. started. Okay, this is a spiral galaxy. This is a barred-shaped galaxy. If you look at the... Yeah, it's a barred-shaped galaxy. That means that if you look at this trail, it looks like the galaxy goes 180 degrees, almost coming back to itself. This galaxy has a black hole, a very powerful black hole that is 24 million times the mass of our sun in its center. This galaxy is, uh, God only knows, this one is an elliptical galaxy. Okay, you can tell by, well, it's elliptical shape, right? Um, you talked about, oh, okay, okay, this is, you have to see this, this is from Miri. Do you know Miri? No. It's one of the instruments on the James Webb Space Telescope. And it shows you very clearly the the composition of the of the four galaxies of the one that's closer to us and the other four we need someone to overlay to open yeah those that's right now uh you were talking about the spectra right the bright line spectra mm -hmm. you have you ever wondered what is a galaxy made of yesterday we yesterday okay, we already talked yes, about this concept but but for stefan's quintet it's a little different iron do you know you need iron to be strong yeah, to, uh, yes get to the point so this isn't a Okay, so um, in Stefan's Quintet, you have iron. What other elements do you see? Um, well, there's argon, neon, uh, neon uh, sulfur, and oxygen. Oxygen. Does that tell you anything? Mm hmm What does it tell you? It, te it tells you that since these colors are in here, the <clears throat> galaxy is most likely made out of mostly of these elements. Yeah, and based on... Well, yeah. And not only that, but based on the composition of the galaxy, you can also tell the age. And guess what? Do you know how astro NASA astronomers found out the age of these galaxies? How? Based on the Doppler effect. Based on how much they were redshifted. The light from this galaxy is much less redshifted than these other four. That's how you know it's uh, closer to us. And let me just quickly finish by showing you some You're more. not going to quickly finish. Yeah, this is the black hole. You see a black hole? This is the black hole uh, spewing out jets of gas. And that's uh, another picture of Stefan's Quintet. And that's another picture of Stefan's Quintet. Yeah, it's been and uh, that's it. So thank you for watching this episode of James Webb Space Telescope. I thank you everybody for watching and we'll see you with the third picture of the